Hi there, it's Jakko here. Today I want to talk to you guys about something really important. I want to talk about backups. Now, a lot of people I know are sort of not exactly really very careful about it. So, the thing about digital data nowadays is that once you lose it, it's gone. If you don't have backup or you don't have a way to sort of make sure that the data is safe or if you don't have even like a basic backup in your computer, if something happens and something trust me, can happen, uh, you're going to lose everything what you've done and you're going to lose your work. And in worst case, you're going to lose a lot of time because you have to sort of spend uh, get, spend a lot of time to try to figure out how you can get everything back and get everything working. So I had a bit of problem with my WordPress site today and that was actually my own mistake. I just uh, ended up doing something which was a little bit dumb and, and then I had to, you know, s spend some time trying to figure out how I'm going to be able to get the database back and get the files back and get the site running again. So then I decided I'm just going to invest to this WordPress software thing, which is kind of like a WordPress plugin, which allows you to just automatically schedule the backups and basically just make sure that everything works. If something happens, there's like one button you can press and it, sh it should automatically restore everything which is really nice so I mean for nine dollars per month that's not uh, too much so yeah so I really recommend to make some kind of automated system something that works like automatically without you knowing so for example if you are using Macintosh you can use Time Machine which automatically creates incremental backups so so you can go back in time sort of so the time machine actually comes from that that you can sort of travel back in time in your files and that's a really great way and and in windows there's also automated ways to back up your computer's hard disk and and then uh you can all, always use these nas devices so so one of the way how i think about it how i think about data basically is that in my computers i have uh, ssds in them and then I have these spinning these all type of hard disks in NAS where I have like RAID going on and then the data is basically backed up automatically there in multiple hard disks. So if one hard disk dies, the other hard disks will take over automatically without having to do anything. And then on top of that, basically have some kind of offsite backup somewhere away from from here. So if there's a disaster earthquake or something that the data will be anyway safe somewhere, so it's going to be a, possible to, to get back to it. So yes, data backup and the management of the data is really important and and especially for, for us who are using digital tools to create stuff. So I really recommend to, to sort of make a system that allows you to sleep well at night without having to think about it and then periodically just sort of check that everything works, that you the backup is really working. So yeah. Those will be my thoughts about backups. Uh, do take a backup if you don't have it. Do it tomorrow. Or even better, maybe tonight. This was Yakko and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.